Rode just released a new wireless mic system, the Rode Wireless Me, and with it you get one transmitter and one receiver, but one of the biggest features of it so far is the fact that you've got this intelligent gain assist which basically adjusts your audio for you automatically, which I guess is why there's no display on the receiver anymore. So the reason that you only need one transmitter is because the receiver has a microphone on it as well. So if you were filming somebody and you had your tr receiver on top of your camera and then the person had the transmitter, it means that if you wanted to talk and have your audio in the video as well, you're gonna be able to capture clear audio from you and from the person that you're filming. And you don't have to have an extra transmitter because you're just using the audio that's coming from the receiver, which is really handy. So even though you just have that one transmitter, you do have dual channel recording and if you wanted to have a third microphone then you will be glad to know that the Rode Wireless Go 2 is also compatible with the Rode Wireless Me so if you wanted to use one of those transmitters then you could definitely do that. So I've just switched over to my GoPro Hero 11 because the Rode Wireless Me comes with loads of different cables which makes it compatible with loads of different cameras straight out of the box. There's nothing extra to buy unlike the Rode Wireless Go 2. So you can use it with regular cameras like your DSLR mirrorless cameras, action cameras, your phone, tablet, computer. So yeah, compatible straight out of the box, nothing extra to buy. So because there's so many cables and you've got everything that you need, you can easily connect to the Rode Central app, which will allow you to adjust the settings on the microphone. And then there's also a mobile app that Rode has just come out with called Rode Capture. So the Rode Capture app, whilst it's not packed with loads of different features, it's got a really good one if you shoot content like vlogs or anything like that, where you want to talk to the camera, but you also want to show what you're talking about. And that is split screen and picture in picture so at the moment I'm filming in split screen so I've got my camera my phone horizontally so I'm on the left and then what's film what's in front of me is on the right so it's filming with the front facing camera and the back facing camera at the same time and what you can do is have either two separate files so the camera facing the front facing camera that's filming you will put out a file and then there'll be another file for the footage that you're filming with the back facing camera or you can have it merged so if you know that you just want it to be like this and you're not going to do anything else with the footage then you can just have it as a merged file so this is really useful like i said if you're vlogging and you want to show what you're talking about or if you're interviewing someone and you want to capture both yourself and that person which also makes shooting with the wireless me really useful as well because you can change the settings in the camera so that you can then let me show you enable the microphone on the transmitter to record as well so now i've just enabled that and you can either have it as a merged track but if you're filming somebody else then it's always a good idea to separate those two channels out so i'm going to change it to split and it means that the transmitter is going to be on the left channel and the receiver is going to be on the right channel so it means you just have more control over the audio if you're filming two people or recording two people so let me just get that right that's the that's the transmitter and that's the receiver so i'm just going to switch off and it also means that you can change the gain setting as well so if you want it to be on auto or dynamic or just have it off and just adjust the gain yourself then you can do that so i've got it on auto at the moment and that's what it's on by default so yeah the capture app is a basic app but for anyone who's filming in that specific way, then it makes it so much easier when it comes to editing the video. And whilst you're editing your videos, if you're looking for some awesome music, that's where today's sponsor comes in, which is Track Club. It's a new music licensing site for content creators. There's so many high quality music tracks on there, but one of the biggest features of Track Club is Mixlab, which allows you to customize tracks before you download them. There might be times where you think you found the perfect track, but sometimes you'll hear an instrument which doesn't quite work with what you're going for, or the track might be a little bit too slow, or it might be a little bit too fast. So with Mixlab, you can completely remove stems. So if there's an instrument that you don't want, you can get rid of it, or you can change the BPM so that you can make the track faster or slower, or you can just reduce the volume of certain stems. So if there's, for example, a piano in there that you just want to reduce the volume of a little bit, then you can do that. So it's an awesome feature to make sure that you're getting the perfect track for your video. If you're interested in checking it out, there's a link in the description where you can get a one month full access free trial. So you can go through check out the music, try out Mixlab and see how you like it. And thanks Track Club for sponsoring this video. So now that there's a Rode Wireless Me, where does that leave the Rode Wireless Go To in terms of which one to get? Up until now, I've been recording the audio using the Rode Wireless Me, but I've now switched over to the Rode Wireless Go To just so that you can get an idea of what 
the different sounds like between the two. I don't know what it sounds like because I'm literally just recording it and I'll listen to it later on. But in terms of the differences between the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the Rode Wireless Me, obviously the Rode Wireless Me has one transmitter and the Go 2 has two. And you've obviously got that intelligent gain assist with the Rode Wireless Me, which means that you don't have to adjust your gain yourself, whereas that's something that you would have to do on the Rode Wireless Go 2. And also with the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can re record internally to the transmitters, whereas with the Rode Wireless Me, I'm pretty sure you can't do that. I'll double check, but I didn't read that you could actually do that. So if you need a mic where you can record internally to the microphone just for backup or anything else, then yeah, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is going to be the one that you're going to want to get. And on that note, Rode sent me an email to clarify where the Wireless Me sits in the range of microphones. So they intended it to be for someone who just wants to get going, plug a microphone in and not have to worry about changing any settings and just get really good audio straight off the bat. So they intended it to be really beginner friendly and those especially who really want to shoot content with their phone because that's where the capture app comes in and the app and the microphones just work really well together in that respect. And so it's not really replacement for the Rode Wireless Go 2. The Rode Wireless Go 2 is intended more for professionals and those who want to have more control over their audio. So there's still a place for the Rode Wireless Go 2. It's not for the Rode Wireless Me to replace it. But in terms of the beginner friendly, simplistic use for the Rode Wireless Me, that's one of the biggest reasons why the intelligent gain assist was created. So that it takes away that worry about whether your audio is clipping or whether it's sounding okay. So I've just switched back over to the Rode Wireless Me and I mentioned earlier about the intelligent gain assist which which allows the microphone to adjust the gain for you automatically without you having to do anything. And there are two settings for the intelligent gain assist mode. And one of them is auto and the other one's dynamic. So if you're in an environment where the sound levels are constantly changing and jumping around, then setting it to auto is gonna give you the best uh, audio quality in that respect and then if you're in an environment which is more controlled then that's when you'll use dynamic but it's going to depend on what you prefer the sound of. By default it's set to auto. So if you do actually want to change this then on the Rode Capture app if you're using it with your phone for example then you can switch it to auto dynamic or just have it off completely if you want to have control over it. So just like with the Rode Wireless Go 2 you can attach a lav mic so I've attached the Rode lavalier 2 which is the audio that you're hearing at the moment and it just means that if you want something which is a little bit more discreet and so not so there then you can attach a lav mic and just have a smaller footprint. So when Rode got in touch with me to check out the Rode Wireless Me there was one thing that I was really hoping it would have and that was a charging case for the microphone and the receiver and sadly it doesn't and it comes with a pouch which the Rode Wireless Go 2 came with as well but the pouch is a lot smaller than the Rode Wireless Go 2 and being that it's smaller I'm guessing it's because there's only one transmitter and then the receiver, whereas with the World Wireless Go 2 you've got the two transmitters and the receiver. But it's just... I just had a spider web go across my face. It's just not big enough to have everything in it. So it would have been nice, even if there wasn't a case, but just to have a bigger bag so that you could have all the cables in and everything together so that you could just keep everything together rather than having to have some things left out so that's one of the biggest disappointments is that yeah there's just not a case the case just would have been great to just charge the transmitter and the receiver on the go and you get about seven hours of battery life so it's not the worst i mean you're not going to be filming for that amount of time in one go but it just means that you know if you did forget to charge it up and then you're out and about then you, there's no way for you to charge it whilst you're out and about unless you've got an external power pack with you but anyway that is the review i hope you found it useful and like i said thanks to track club for sponsoring this video and if you want to check it out and get a free one month full access trial then use the link in the description but thanks for watching and i've dropped a link in the description to the road wireless me as well if you want to check that out so yeah i'll catch you guys on the next video